Yeah, I just made a coffee run. I don't do Starbucks, but we have here in Louisiana a coffee shop called CC's Coffee House. And when I tell you the coffee is on point, in my opinion, their coffee compared to Starbucks because I've had both. I was a Starbucks person, but then I ended up getting a job. This is how it happened. I went with Starbucks at first because, you know, it was popular. That's what everybody was talking about. It, the next, hold on. It, that's what's known. Starbucks is what's known. So I ended up getting a job at Community Coffee at one of the locations. And when you work there, your entire time, like from the time you get there to the time you leave, you can have as many free drinks as you want. Not the pastries, the pastries weren't free, but the drinks is free, your entire shift. So, you know, I decided to do a little dabble. And, and before then, I was like, you know, I really wasn't a coffee person because I didn't know how to make coffee. But when I became a barista, I learned the ins and outs of the coffee, the history. We Just working at that place gave me so much insight to uh, coffee and how it works and where it comes from and all kinds of stuff like that. Hey, y'all, I see all y'all coming in. Hey, so we talking about coffee shops. I'm, I'm having a, my daughter is away at practice. And she's with my husband, so I have a little bit of me time because I got my mini me, my boy in the back, but he's asleep. So I'm taking time to self care. And how I self care is I get a pastry from the coffee shop, um, our local coffee shop, and a coffee drink. I'm going to show you the coffee drink in a minute that I got. So the company is called C Community Coffee. It's here in Louisiana. And I was telling them that. I wasn't a coffee drinker before I started working there. So as I was a barista, I became a barista and I learned how to make coffee the correct way. The right way. I started to love coffee and I learned that it may not be that you don't like coffee. It may be that you just don't know how to make it. Or the person that that's making it don't know how to make it. To your liking so when i worked there the entire ship you got free drinks and I've, i tried everything i tried everything they had it was so good and i just got turned on to the coffee so their coffee in comparison to starbucks their coffee is stronger than starbucks like starbucks coffee is good but their coffee this and this is what they look like so I got a mocha, this is a mocha latte with almond milk. I thought that I told them turtle, but I realized that I told them milk, mocha because I was looking at the mocha sippy. So on the day that I feel like getting, that I'm craving a mocha sippy, I'm gonna have to come on live so that y'all can see. It's equivalent to a frappe, it's a frozen um, latte. But I get all of my drinks, my coffee drinks, with almond milk. It took me a minute to get used to it. But I try to, because I have PCOS, I try to decrease my dairy intake. Because I can't just completely throw it away. So I just try to decrease it. And it's still good. It tastes good. And at the bottom of it, it has, you see the mocha at the bottom of it. And I usually get whipping the works, but I, I've been laying off the whipping the works. And the whip, whip in the works means they put whipped cream on top and they just drizzle it with whatever is inside the latte. So if it's mocha, they drizzle it with chocolate. Turtle, they'll drizzle it with mocha, uh, with chocolate and caramel. Caramel, they'll drizzle it with caramel. I wanna 
wonder what they would drizzle it with. With vanilla. That is a good question. You know what? I'm gonna ask my girls that next time. We're gonna find that out. I don't think I've ever asked for whipping the works on a vanilla, like latte or mocha sippy. I'm gonna have to, the next time I do a run, I'm gonna ask them. And I'm gonna have to do it around this time so I can make sure y'all at home and everything. We gonna ask them, like what, what would you drizzle on top of, uh, if I asked for whipping the works on a vanilla latte, what would you drizzle? You know, how was y'all day? I see how y'all coming in. Hey, y'all. I got a um, brownie, a fudge brownie, and it's warmed, warmed up. So, this brownie is so moist. And so, let me let you look at it if you can see that. The, the dark spots are the chocolate chips inside of the, and they big chocolate chips too, inside of the brownie. And the brownie is so soft and just moist. Like, I like my brownies, my cake, anything like that. I like it to be soft, fluffy, moist, like melt in your mouth. Just automatically, when you start chewing, it just wills away. And it hugs you on the inside. Hey, y'all. So yeah, I snuck away. To do that. I um I may run to the store real quick and get some stuff. So good. I want to learn how to bake a brownie like this. Because I want to be able to make a pan of it. A baking pan. Cut it up and just save it. That way I could just eat on it as I have cravings during the week. I tried to make a brownie and failed. It was so dry and it was horrible. It tastes nothing like this brownie. I hate to show y'all how I eat in real life. But this I'm a, I'm a keep trying until I get it. I believe that I can do it. If I just keep pushing and I don't give up, I believe that I can make a brownie in this morning. I may have to you know what? I did it. I made the brownie from I made the brownie from using the box ingredients in order to get it moist like that i may have to make it from scratch <clears throat> something is just telling me i'm gonna have to make it from scratch so all right y'all my break is over i will come on live at another time i will see y'all later